Hello, my name is Veronique, and today I'm going to show you how to make a fish crumble. It's an interesting dish. Now, the ingredients for this dish are cheese, flour, lemon, chives, and butter. And fish, of course. Now, I'm using cabio fish, but you can use any kind of fish, really. Uh, salmon, any kind of white fish, um, just nothing that falls apart like sole. Um, you just need a firm fish. So we'll take our filet and we'll dice it up so that we can put this in the bottom of our dish and then juice it with lemon. So we'll slice it. La même taille. Voilà. Now you'll see that this is really an easy recipe, really quick. And we're cutting them. And we'll need about this much of chives. Une demi botte de ciboulette. And we'll cut this, now not dice it, and as the same with the fish, we want relatively large pieces, actually. We'll put this right in to the dish. You can see thick pieces. And we'll take a lemon. And now this depends on how much you love lemon. Maybe a half a lemon or maybe a whole lemon. And we'll use an oven dish. Um, it can be any oven dish really. I'm using a fairly deep cake pan. And we'll place our fish on the bottom. Making a first layer. And spread equally across the bottom. And then we'll cover this with chives, just like this. And that's what you get. And then we'll juice all of this with our lemon. So we'll take out the seeds. So I squeeze my lemon right on. So this perfumes the fish, and it actually begins cooking the fish right away. Now again, this is a really easy recipe. You can serve this either as an appetizer or as a main dish. So we'll do another layer of fish. So you'll need about 800 grams of fish for four people, which is about half a filet per person. So again, we'll cover with chives. There we go. That's our second floor. And again, the lemon. Now, I love lemon with fish, so I apply liberally. Oh, another seed. So the fish is ready. Now there's no need to salt it since we're using cheddar, which is already salty. And it's always better to add salt once the dish is served than to add too much before. So we have our cheddar, which is an English cheese. And I'm just going to take slices and I'm going to break them into large chunks with my hands, which I will then put into my food processor. And my food processor doesn't like large chunks, so I have to break it up a little bit. And we'll do the same with the butter and the flour. Now the food processor uh, makes everything a little faster. So same thing with the butter. Now it's better to use a soft butter. It's easier to work with and it's easier to blend. And we'll put all this directly into the food processor. 
Vous prenez pas le... le... So we're going for a relatively chunky mixture in the end, nothing really runny or thin. So we'll put this right into the food processor. And we'll blend it. My hands are a little, a little greasy. So you've been preheating your oven. So we'll add a little bit of flour, and now you've been preheating your oven to about 375 Fahrenheit. And as soon as it's hot, you can put your crumble right in. Cooking time is about 25 minutes, and this depends on the fish. Generally, white fish take a little longer to cook. Um, pink fish, such as uh, salmon, cook much faster. So, for example, if you're using salmon, the cooking time should only be about 15 minutes. So, we're, we're going to have a dough much like this. Et vous rajoutez de la farine, vous rajoutez à peu près and we'll add about two thirds of a cup of flour. We'll add it in just like this. I normally just go by poofs. And we'll put it through the food processor. And there we go. And now you should have a dough which is much similar to the dough of a sugary crumble. Chunky. And now we're going to cover our fish. And now we'll naturally have parts that are more buttery than others or cheesier than others with this chunky topping. But we don't want a thin, compact dough. It'll be too hard, and the cheese, the butter, and the flour just don't cook well together. So leaving space between the chunks helps it cook more evenly. Uh, it keeps the flavor. It doesn't cover anything up too much. Just like this. And then we'll be able to put this right into the oven. And then you can just throw this right in. Now we'll wait about 25 minutes. And you can accompany this dish with a mixed salad or spinach. Green vegetables are perfect as well. So I'll see you in a little bit. So my crumble cooked for 25 minutes at 375 Fahrenheit. Now I can serve this directly from the oven to the table. So we have our crumble. It's nice and browned, the cheese is melted. Uh, it looks like a crumble made with fruit and sugar. Well, it resembles a crumble made with fruit and sugar. We have the top, which is the classic crumble. Now we can add some chives left over for a presentation, sprinkle on the top. Adds a little color, it looks really nice. Now you can bring this directly to the table. It's a beautiful hot dish. So, bon appétit. See you next time and have fun cooking.